Welcome again to Africa Sportsman Show. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere with my good buddy Martin Miller from African Sun Productions. Let me just introduce you here, Martin. Um, I'm supposed to be on that side of the camera. So, uh, yeah, we in the Bobby Hans Conservancy. We're between the towns of Bedford and Tarkastad. Go Google that. Um, so we're taking this dirt road here and we're making an absolute trip of it. Um, this week, looking for uh, uh, two special animals that is very, very, very common here in the Eastern Cape. Um, the walrebok or the grey rebok and the mountain reedbuck, the roy rebok in Afrikaans. So um, whenever you search for a speciality hunt like that, you know, a couple of names pop up and uh, King's Ranch was one of them. And uh, between me and Megan and Martin, we, we set up this. So uh, we're going to enjoy this next hour or two on the road and we'll see you there. actually came out of my dad's um, ram shed and okay. we refurbished them and put them into yeah, the awesome. seed and yarn. So, and there's a lot of stuff here that we've actually just used off the farm just to make it very sort of rustic chic um, so that Sounds people could just beautiful, enjoy eh? <laughs> sort of the rustic side of things of the farm. Yeah. So, yeah. Stefan, welcome, welcome to uh, uh, Kings, Kings Mountain Lodge. It's, uh, I've heard lots about you. Um, it's good to have Ac Africa's Sportsman's uh, show here. And we, we, it looks like we're going to have a, now, a nice day out hunting. Um, and I uh, hope uh, everything will fall into place. No, no, I'm sure. Okay, thanks for having us here. And um, just quickly, wanna, gonna, I'm going to explain uh, the plan. We had a nice braai yesterday evening yeah. with the wind coming up. Uh, you guys told us there's uh, some cold rolling in, but uh, we'll see. So the plan is um, getting these follies and mountain ridback. You know, it's not a it's not an easy task. It's no. a it's a very big property. Um, Every fence you'll see during the, the next couple of days is irrelevant to any game here. So, so it's as free range as you get. Um, we, got, we, we have our packs ready, so um, the area is too big to try and go out, hunt a whole day and then get back and out again tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll monitor the cold, but we, we're ready to get out there and, and set up camp somewhere half, halfway during the day. Yeah. Uh, leave the one vehicle there and then, because we hunt from, from mountain range to mountain range. So we utilize the vehicle, we drive to a certain point and then we walk from there, either up or round or whatever. Nothing's there, come back and so so forth So for, for, for the rest of the day. So um, we get all our gear together, we're going to pack some meat in for the, for the bride tonight. Maybe an extra blanket or two and, uh, and then we'll get going. Okay, you guys spotted the mountain reedbuck up on yeah. the corner there. Yeah, Stefan, I'm just going to go a bit forward, just to get a bit closer, then I'll, I'll stop and get out and just see what, you know, what, okay. what we can see there. Looks like a nice ram, okay. so hopefully it's what we're looking for. Stefan, I think uh, you must get your rifle and we must start walking. That's quite a nice decent ram that we should take. That's the one that's standing, eh? Yeah, that's the one that is standing. 400 at the moment. Yeah. I ain't left right. I ain't yeah, okay. You guys spotted something up there, what do you see? Yeah, um, Stefan, we've seen two nice elan up there. One looks like a nice bull, so I just want to go up a bit closer on foot and see what it, what it what uh, And are they available? Yes, are. we've got permits, <laughs> so yeah, we'll get up close and see what, what we can see there. But I mean, this is this is completely free range eland. I mean, yeah, there's no uh, there's no way a cattle fence can, can, can hold the eland, so yeah. I didn't know they occur here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, so so you do get them yes, we've every got now a, and again. We've got a group uh, that stays here, uh, especially on this side of the farm. 
thing is, like I said earlier, you know, um, there's a lot of grass on this farm. The, the owner of this farm has uh, spared his felt and uh, he looks after his felt, so yeah. we'll see a lot of game. They're more than a kilometer away, huh? Yeah. That's the advantage um, of having a, a caliber and bullet combination that can do this type of job. I brought my nozzle rifle um, that I bought specifically for carrying on my back with that Vortex scope, that, that uh, Razor. That's, that's very light. <coughs> and um, obviously with 140 grain nozzle acubon bullets, more than adequate to, to take down right, a gun. Well, it will do the job properly. Well, let's, let's give it a let's, go. Let's keep going. <laughs> then we must walk down this way. Okay. There's a bit of a breeze coming from up and then we'll probably to go to the yeah. stones and then you can maybe get a shot at A lot of them are still laying down. Yeah, no, they, they, they're they not in... They, but it's far, any... it's 400 from there. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get way closer. Um, I think the wind's coming from this way, so... Yeah. We'll go uh, below the wind and we'll work our way up. Okay, perfect. So we're getting, so we're not only getting the wind on our side, we're circling around so those animals are looking straight into the sun. Also a very big advantage. Stefan, they've they've gone over, so we can't get them on the other side. But uh, I think I see those Elon are still standing there, so let's not waste time and get there. Yeah.
Good shot, good shot, just watch it, just move forward, yeah, just move forward a bit, just go forward, okay, yeah, shot looked good, eh? Yeah. That shot there and this wind, you can see, well, that's why I say it's always windy at the top and yeah. shooting, yeah, it's not easy in these, in these mountains, but um, that wasn't on our agenda today, but it came across us and well done. Well, sometimes uh, Fale Hunt turns into a yellow <laughs> Bring extra dollars if you come. <laughs> Get the opportunity at a free range island like this, you take it. Eh? Yeah, a nice old cow as well, Stefan. You know, it's it's meat for the you know for the, for us on the farm as well. It's not just yeah, no, you for know. sure. I mean, you you guys here, yourselves and your whole family and and you know everybody working here. It's about 15 families. Eh? Yeah, right. yeah. So this so, this meat here goes a long way. And it's yeah, no, you'll good utilize quality game meat. Eh? You'll utilize all the meat, and like I say, it's an old cow, you know. Um, let's have a look at her closer. I'm sure tomorrow evening at the lodge we'll have some of those. Definitely. <laughs> Good shooting, my man. No, but, thanks. Um, <laughs> thanks a lot. Well done. Eh? Well, okay. What a morning. I mean, uh, our folly hunt turned into a turned into a Irland hunt very quickly. <laughs> but what a stalk. I mean, uh, we saw them at I think it was 8:03 or 8:09 or something. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you made a good plan getting us into position. Uh, the shot was about what 190, 200. Yeah, 200 on the on the dot. Yeah. Listen, for... thanks for a great morning, and uh, we're really looking forward to the next to the to the next two days or three days. Uh, uh, trying to accomplish what we came no, here. No, awesome. <laughs> it's it's nice having you guys and yeah, let's let's uh let's keep going. Yeah. yeah. see a ram from this distance. I mean, what is that from here? It's 635. 635, yeah. So I think it's about 13 in the herd, eh? It's yeah. a big herd for folly. Yeah, I know. I sort of like that, that valley there, that area. So I think... But there's mountain the red bug there as well? Yeah, there's mountain red bug on to the left of them. There's three. Yeah. I think we'll just carry on with the road, walk up here, and then, you know, we'll make a plan from there. So we saw the follies go over that ridge. It's about 300 to 400 meter hike. Um, <laughs> this is as extreme as it gets with the wind. Uh, we clocked the wind at about 50 to 60 k's an hour, gusting to 65, 70. Um, yeah, but we, we, we're getting ready. If the vehicle can't get to where we shoot, we have some salt with us. So we'll skin the trophy in the mountain, have some energy bars and some water, so we could go for a couple of hours. We're going to have to work on a 60 km an hour wind at 250, it's 60 centimeters. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to compensate two feet at least, yeah, between at, two and three feet. At least, yeah. Fine.
so you can see them they sort of in that over you see that white patch of grass there just to the left you'll see them running down now we're going to be walking up and over Stefan, over the, over the top here, there's a, you see it will be a bit sheltered as well from this wind. So when we get to that little neck there, we must just be quiet and just have a good, a good scan and see if we can't maybe see something on over the hill because it's more sheltered and a bit warmer. You, you really think you need to be quiet in this wind? <laughs> <laughs> but, this is, but this is exactly, um, okay, me and my hunting buddy Hanke, um, this is exactly what, we, what we're trying to accomplish. I mean, there is no other way to come and hunt. A folly here. No, no, you gotta. There's no easier way. No, so no, you gotta. A lot of oaks just say, oh well, maybe it's not for me. But I think, you know, if you can accommodate a client and say, listen, guys, let's try for one day. Let's do it extreme like this. I mm. mean, the, I mean, look, the weather's coming in, the wind is howling. Uh, um, I mean, yeah, you know, but what an experience, you know. So you try your utmost best, and you come here, and, and I mean, if you have success here, what a story to tell. Eh? No, no, definitely. And we know there's a cold front coming in, but you know, with this wind, it's going to be difficult, and then we we have to do it on foot, and then we'll see what we can do. <laughs> well, let's keep on going. Unbelievable, eh? Man, hey. Not many places in the world that you can see this, eh? You can see for miles. Stefan, I've just spotted uh, some follies over the ridge, eh? I think we must get your rifle off. It looks like there's a takeable ram there, so hopefully um, we're gonna get over the hill, we can have a good scan and see what he looks like. So I think let's take your rifle off. We're gonna have a height advantage. I'm gonna take my backpack off as well. Will you carry it for me? No problem. If you see something, you drop it on the ground and we can yes, lie down. You'll be much more stable on the yeah. ground as well. those follies have gone over that next ridge eh? so I think if we can maybe get to this um, sort of the stones on the left there we can have maybe a better view from there they must, they need to go. there they go there they go yeah Yeah. 549. Well, that's how it goes, eh? Yeah, I mean, some. <laughs> all the way up the mountain, get in position and they're gone. All that's the... how folly hunting is. So, yeah, obviously that's folly hunting for you. So, But um, hopefully we will carry on with our, with our walk. And I know if we get over the hill, we can maybe see something else, but yeah. Yeah, trying to follow them now is not the No, no, they Might spotted well us. The next ridge. 19 out of 20 times, this is the result. <laughs> Stalking up on a head of fall is that big. Yeah, enjoy your falling, I think so. I think let's carry on.
there's two on the left, two females on the left, they're standing behind that big rock. And then just slightly behind them to the right, behind a red rock. That's a male, okay? Yeah, okay. But it's not a big ram, eh? Yeah. And then there's some more females to the right. Yes, but I get a fire. Yeah. I get a, I get a range of three six nine. Yeah. There's no way in this window I'll be able to take no, a no, safe no. shot. Stefan, this wind's terrible. Eh? We spotted a nice decent ram in the front here, so hopefully we can get one within distance. You know, at this, at this, with this wind, you can't take chances and shoot over, I'd say 200, that's gusting, probably over 60, like we said earlier. Yeah. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna go head down and see if we can get a shot on that okay. animal. If you look up a bit, there's one lying down just over this look. You see that little. Say left and eight. Yeah, it's gonna quit. Two fifty six. Wait till it. Crazy. Okay, you still see him. Yeah, I can still see him. No, he's done. He's a beautiful shot. Is he down? Is it done? He's done in, in this wind. I lost him uh, through the scope, through the recoil, but you say he's down, eh? No, no, he's down. 256 with a crosswind. It's it's uh, unbelievable. But that shooting, I mean, uh, you see, as I picked up and then he looked back and I said, you know, on the left, yeah. pull the trigger, squeeze it nicely, and he's down, eh? <laughs> it hasn't been an easy morning. Uh, with this wind, you know, these things, these animals are unbelievable. These are magnificent little animals with, these, with their eyes. And once they spot a small little movement, they pick it up. Stefan, let's go have a look and see what he looks like. Well done. I just want to have one more minute. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. 
it's hard to get in within 200 of the shot. Yeah. And then in this wind, these animals are even more wary. Exactly, yeah, because they can't smell. No. And they can't hear. No, I mean, the wind's blowing directly across us. I mean, they were far away and they still picked us up, eh? Yeah. Stefan, a unique little animal, these, eh? Yeah. I mean, look. Look at those horns, you can see the secondary growth, growth coming through. Yeah, sign, good signs of, of, yeah, of nice, old age. Yeah, nice mature ram. You can see the, the, you know, their coat, it's, like, uh, it's got a coat like a, almost like a rabbit, eh? it's not like yeah. normal hair. Eh? And I mean, look at those nice prominent eyes, eh? you can, they can spot you a mile away. Eh? What a beautiful Yeah, nice, nice animal. Nice coat, eh? yeah. well done. Well, okay, this is the result of a, a couple of hours. <laughs> Hard work, um, but it was worth it in the end. Though. No, definitely. I mean, you she put that shot placement unbelievably, didn't go far. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, was a hard work and uh, well done, man. No, thanks. I couldn't be more proud of this whole experience, you know, how, the way we did it. Um, the caliber, I think uh, it's a quite adequate caliber. It's a 65284 Norma. Um, the scope. The Vortex Razor, as mentioned, you know, it's, it's the setup is exactly for what we want to do with these packs. And, you know, on, 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 it, this is a very good example of where we are. I mean, you have to carry your stuff here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah and you have to carry your stuff with you. I mean, it's yeah. so remote and it's so rugged. It's impossible, you know, to hunt with a vehicle here. So yeah. you do utilize the vehicle to get from mountain to mountain. But, um, yeah, still, yeah. Uh, what an experience. Listen. Uh, unbelievable animal. Well thank, you. Thank, you so thank you so much. Thank you so much. Actually, um, on the way back, the guys uh, saw some mountain read but way up in that mountain, yeah. about six, seven hundred meters yes, yeah. from here. So they they don't know if it's if it's uh, uh, males or females. Yeah. But I think it's worth it. We have a couple of hours of sunlight left. I yes, think it's yeah. worth it. But we're going to have to work this ridge line. Yeah, it's the only cover we've got anyway. Yeah. So I think and we'll. And the shot's going to be right into the sun. Sun, yeah. So it's going to be it's not going to be easy, but I think let's yeah, it's the only coverage we've got. So. I think we're going to have to just stay low and get to that point and then make a decision and from they, there. They're going to want to be, you know, they're going to want to stay out of the wind. Yeah. Behind, those, behind the copy. So. Uh, yeah, 100%. Are we going to go down here? Yes, we're going to go down here, stay here. Yeah. And then try and get over. 100%. Okay. Let's go. Two follies as well, eh? Yes. Just okay, but there's the ram below them. Remember, the wind's off the left to compensate for that, and the wind there as well, eh? 140. Right. You guys ready? Yes. Stefan, that's a nice ram. The shoot him nice and perfectly in the chest. Yeah, he went down on the spot, eh? I could see him drop 
to the white fur do yeah. this good? Oh, we went, we went straight down. <laughs> that shooting, eh? <laughs> well yeah. done. Luckily, it wasn't that far. Yeah. But still, but I was, well, it looked like a decent shot. Yeah, I was watching it through the barn. As you could see, you know, the wind still pushed that round to the to the right, eh? Yeah. And you did compensate. Yes, but it makes a hell of a difference lying down and shooting. Yeah, no, it's the so only way. I don't think, I think that if you even one stick, you will never be able to shoot. Uh, yes, in, the, in, the, in, this, in these conditions, uh, shooting sticks will be almost yeah, It looks like a nice, decent ram. Let's go have a walk up there and have a look at him. Well done. Yeah. Oh, Stefan, there's your animal. Stefan. Great shooting, buddy. Yes, yeah. How beautiful is this? Check yeah. Curls, yeah. Yeah. And you can feel it's got, it's definitely, it's not like uh, like a woolly, like the, like the fall, yeah? Yeah. But look at those bases. Beautiful ram, eh? Yeah, nice old ram, eh? Yeah, no, stunning. Mm. But he, yes, what a shot, eh? With his wind. Yeah, yeah. the shot was here, just off center yeah. to the right. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Uh, once again, the wind. Nice, nice mature ram as well. Yeah. Well done, buddy. What a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not easy in these mountains, no, no, eh? Easy. Oh, yes. Yeah. What a privilege. Yeah. Thanks no. a lot, man. Well, Thanks good shooting. Lot. Well done. Magnificent little animal, eh? Yes. Check those curls, eh? Yeah. Nice, nice deep curls. I mean, you, it's not hunting, not easy hunting these animals, eh? I mean, look, you know, no. we are so far up in the mountains and yeah. <laughs> and he's got nice thick, nice thick bases. Old mature ram. Yeah. Beautiful. Once again, well done. Thanks a lot. And uh, I mean, what a privilege to be able to hunt these animals up here. I mean, I don't know how high we are here. I haven't actually done my homework, but I mean, it's uh, it's just the views we saw today. I mean, there's the sun going. We're going to lose it within a couple of minutes behind this mountain. Yeah. Um, to be out the whole day. And it was tough conditions. I mean, it was, it at some stage, it was horrible being out here, you know, the wind blowing and the, and, uh, you know, being cold and so forth. But I mean, Definitely worth the while, eh? No, definitely. <laughs> Good shooting and he just dropped on the spot, eh? Yeah, thanks a lot. Can't, can't wait to have some of this back in camp. Definitely. I'll cook you some. Well done.